I am Dr. Peter Glidden, your host for the next 45 minutes. I'm a licensed naturopathic physician. I have 25 years of clinical experience, and it is my privilege to uh, have Dr. Wallach's back and to be the second witness to Dr. Wallach's message of health recovery through science-based, clinically verified medical nutrition. In the conference, in the three days of this conference, the three days that it takes, 72 hours, in the next 72 hours, approximately 2,700 people in the United States will die needlessly. 780,000 people a year are killed because of medical incompetence, medical mistakes, and just the good old-fashioned wrong medical therapeutic. My people are destroyed by lack of knowledge. And make no bones about it, let there be no doubt, we are in the business of shortening prayer lists. If this circle represents all of the knowledge that's in the entire universe, everything there is to know about everything, most of us hang out here. It's the stuff that we know. You know, we know how to drive a car, we know how to speak English, some of us know how to speak Spanish, some of us know how to play the guitar. There's another little piece of the pie, it's the stuff that, well, things we don't know how to do. I don't know how to fly an airplane, I don't know how to do quantum physics, right? I can't speak French. This is how it is for most of us. There's the stuff that we know and the stuff that we don't know. But an interesting point to ponder is that in the domain of all of the information in the entire world, the majority of the stuff exists in the field of the stuff that we didn't know we didn't know. <laughs> it's so far outside of our reference zone, I didn't even know I didn't know that. Holy smokes. When we have access to the information that we didn't know, we didn't know, that's when we have a Eureka experience. That's when the lights go on. And it is my intention to give everybody in this audience a Eureka experience right now about medicine and healthcare. Because the stuff that we didn't know, we didn't know, the stuff that your brothers and sisters and husbands and wives and parents, kids, didn't know that they didn't know about health and healing is killing you or healing you. We need information. We need knowledge. We need to take back our health because we are suffering needlessly. Now an interesting thing to understand about the way that medicine is disseminated in the free world around the, around the globe right now is that medical doctors, MDs, have positioned themselves into the driver's seat of medicine. And in point of fact, your medical doctor might be the nicest person in the world. They might work for Doctors Without Borders. They might work for Rotary and donate hundreds of hours of free medical care a year. They might be super nice people. But the way that they are trained is in one small piece of the pie of medical science. MDs do not own the field of medicine. Nobody does. Medicine is a vast domain. It's a vast territory. And the piece of the pie of medical science that MDs are trained in, well, is just that. It's a piece of the pie. It's not the whole pie. But the pharmaceutical industry has convinced you and enculturated you to believe that the MD knows everything about medicine, knows everything about everything. And everybody else, the naturopaths, the osteopaths, the chiropractors, traditional Chinese medicine, herbalists, you name it, everybody but the MD is the back of the bus alternative quack. It's nonsense. Amen. It's a lie, quite frankly. Nobody owns medical science, and your MD is trained in one small piece of the pie of medical science. It's referred to as allopathic reductionism. Now listen, I'm a naturopathic doctor, right? There's naturopathy, homeopathy, osteopathy, chiropractic, Ayurvedic, and so forth and so on. Well, the type of medicine that your MD is trained in is called allopathic medicine. They're not trained in medicine. They're trained in allopathic medicine. Allopathic medicine is fascinating to understand, and it's important that you understand it 
Because when you're sick and suffering, you're afraid. And you're up against it. And you go to the doctor, you'll do whatever the doctor tells you to do regardless. You just give yourself over to them. Because you trust that your medical doctor knows what's best for you. When in point of fact, your medical doctor only knows what they've been trained in, and that's just one small piece of the pie of medical science. You need to be forewarned, forearmed. You need to know what you're getting yourself into before you go there. So let's take a look at it. Perhaps the most important thing for people to understand from my point of view is this idea of perspective. If we went outside and looked at the sun rise and the sun set, it would be uh, common sense for us to assume and conclude that, hey, you know what, it's the sun that's moving in the sky, that the earth is stationary, and that the sun moves around the earth. When in point of fact, it's the opposite the earth revolves and it only appears like the sun is moving. It's an illusion. But you don't know what you don't know. And it's exactly the same with medicine. Your MD is trained in a very limited focus on the overall system of science. The overall system of science, the MD looks at it through a very limited lens, a reductionistic lens. It's like they're colorblind art critics. If you were colorblind, you would not be able to see the number five. You couldn't see it. If you had a particular type of colorblindness, you couldn't see it. Now, if this circle represents all medical knowledge, everything, everything about the genesis of disease and everything about how to heal disease and everything there is to know about everything, your MD, by virtue of their perspective, allopathic reductionism, would not be able to see that. It's not there to you. You're looking right at it, but your perspective makes you blind to information that's directly in front of your face. And this is a very important concept to understand. The perspective that MDs are trained in of medical science has a built-in fatal flaw. And because of this built-in fatal flaw, their therapeutics consistently hurt us. Now, the way that MDs are trained, remember, you don't know what you don't know. MDs are trained not to be concerned with what causes disease. That's interesting. The person that you bring your children to is not trained in, to be concerned with what causes disease. MDs are only trained how to manage the disease with drugs. They can't fix asthma, they can't fix type 2 diabetes, they can't fix heartburn, they can't fix arthritis, they can't fix anything, but they can manage everything. And this is how MDs are trained and how MDs are taught. And you need to understand this. Because when you're sick and suffering, you are scared. You are in fear mode and you are up against it. And you need to have information beforehand to let you know where you need to bring yourself for treatment. If I had a chronic health condition, it might not be the best idea to bring my body to a doctor that doesn't care what caused it. And that is only trained in how to manage it with, with drugs. Now listen, there's nothing wrong with drugs. Drugs are like guns. It's not the gun, it's how it's used, for goodness sake. Nothing wrong, I mean, thank God for Novocaine. Thank God for morphine. It's how the drug is used. But when MDs prescribe drugs, well, it's not that great. And this is the most important thing to understand. Your medical doctor, bless their heart, has been trained to believe that your body does not know how to fix itself and that once you're sick, you're screwed. And your only option is to march in with man-made synthetic drugs that manage the problem. And by the way, to the profession that does not even know how to cure heartburn, right? They can't cure heartburn. They can manage it with a little purple pill. They can manage it quite well. Proton pump inhibitors are the second biggest selling drugs in the world. Proton pump inhibitors. 
Heartburn medicine, the second largest selling drugs in the world. They can manage it very well, but they can't cure it. And to the profession that does not even know how to cure heartburn, we have given $600 billion to come up with a cure for cancer. They can't even cure a heartburn, but let's give them a try at cancer. This is how far down the rabbit hole we have gone culturally in our abject allegiance to MD-directed medicine, and it's because of the pharmaceutical industry. It is the pharmaceutical industries who have driven this baby off of the cliff. Now, look, you know, this isn't an MD bashing session. This is a let's get real, let's get knowledge, because there's stuff we don't know we don't know. MDs, remember, are trained in one small piece of that pie. Well, look, that piece of the pie is really good for certain things. Reductionism is good for trauma, for surgery when it's necessary, and a handful of infectious diseases. This is the wheelhouse of the MD. However, according to Harvard University, 54% of emergency room medical doctors are addicted to street drugs, alcohol, or prescription meds. 54. So if you are unfortunate enough to be transported to the emergency room, have your doctor drug tested before you let him near you with a scalpel. As <laughs> God is my witness. You do not know what you do not know, and it is killing you slowly. Another interesting historical point that everybody's forgotten is that the MDs are in the wheelhouse of medicine, and they are, I mean, look around, the only medicine practiced in your hospital, the only medicine your insurance pays for, the only medicine they teach you about in school, the only medicine you know anything about is MD-directed medicine. These guys are in the driver's seat. They're in the cat bird seat, and they've been there for a hundred years, so most people think, well, they must be number one because their you-know-what doesn't stink. They must be number one because they're better at what they do, because they're more effective, because they're less expensive. No. The only reason that MDs are in the driver's seat is because of this guy, Abraham Flexner. Abraham Flexner was paid by the Carnegie Corporation to go around the world, the United States, and do an inventory of all of the medical schools. Before the Flexner Report, which it's famously called, nobody had the upper hand. You had the osteopaths, the chiropractors, the MDs, the naturopaths. Everybody was all spread out. It was a turf war. Nobody had the upper hand. But Flexner brought his list back to the Carnegies, who owned drug companies, and the Carnegies proceeded to give millions of dollars of free money to the medical schools that practiced MD medicine. So if you're starting a business, and I'm starting a business, and you get a million bucks of free money, and I don't, Guess who's going to have a better business? You are. The MDs also glad-handed legislators to make it illegal to practice medicine unless you were an MD. How convenient. So the MDs are in the driver's seat of medicine because of the Flexner Report and pharmaceutical money. After the Flexner Report, this is what it looked like. The MDs were on top, and everybody else was the back of the bus, thrown off the bus of medicine. This is 1914. I am a licensed naturopathic physician. In the great state of Washington, Seattle, I can deliver babies, prescribe drugs, perform minor surgery, work in hospitals, call myself a physician, order any diagnostic tests I want, and it's all covered by insurance. If I was to do exactly the same thing in Chicago, I'd be thrown in jail for a year and fined 5000 bucks for practicing medicine without a license, and that's not right. We do not have a free medical market in the United States. But you don't know what you don't know. You don't know this. For goodness sake, you don't even know how to pronounce naturopath, let alone know what it means, right? <laughs> I mean, let's be real. I was giving a presentation. It wasn't me. It was a colleague of mine was giving a presentation to a governor of Kentucky, I think, years ago, because we're trying to get naturopathic medicine licensed in the great state of Kentucky. And the governor didn't know anything about it at all, right? Hadn't read the bill, nothing. And he looks at the bill for naturopathic medicine, and he looks up at the guy who's, you know, sponsoring the bill, and he says, Naturopaths? We don't need hiking trails. We need jobs. <laughs> you don't know what you don't know. 
We do not have a free medical market in the United States. The MDs have been driving the bus of medicine since the early 1900s, much to our detriment. Now, you know, MDs are great for trauma and for surgery. You have a bullet in your arm, you get your leg blown off, heaven forbid you get T-boned in the accident, in the in, uh, intersection. That you should bring your body to an MD, just have them drug tested because that's their wheelhouse, that's their domain, that's their bailiwick, that's what they are good at. But for everything else, for everything that most people go to the doctor for most of the time, high blood pressure, heartburn, congestive heart failure, asthma, arthritis, fibromyalgia, the heartbreak of psoriasis, bringing your body to an MD is a fool's errand because their perspective on medicine is clouded and they have nothing for you. Nothing for you except man-made drugs to manage the problem until it gets so bad you need to cut it out. But there is a better way, there is a different way, you just don't know that much about it. Well, you know about it because you're longevity people, but your church members don't know it, your family members don't know it, your community members don't know it, and they need to. Desperately, they need to. This is why we're here. So look, you know, different strokes for different folks, right? Different dogs for different jobs. We need to take the right dog to the hunt. Well, naturopathic medicine that Dr. Wallach and myself are trained in argues, holy smokes, guess what? News flash. The human body is endowed with a God-given ability to fix itself. The human body knows how to fix itself. The human body wants to fix itself. And we are trained in the science-based, clinically verified application of therapeutics that support the body's ability to fix itself. Your body was so smart. It grew itself all by itself from a single-celled organism into you. Now, you think if it could do that, it knows how to fix itself? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> but your medical doctor, bless his heart, is blind to this. They do not know this. They cannot even conceptualize it. And the orthopedic surgeons are rubbing their hands together in glee looking at all of the arthritic surgeries that they're going to have to do for the next hundred years. They are using you like an ATM machine. The better insurance you have, the worse off you are. <laughs> Let's get real. In every industry there are superstars, right? I mean Wayne Gretzky, unbelievable. I don't know there's ever going to be a better hockey player than Gretzky. Da Vinci, right? I mean, come on. Nobody's ever going to get even close to Da Vinci's resume. Albert Einstein, unbelievable. There are people in every field of human endeavor who are way better at what they do than everybody else. It's just the way that it is. Well, I've got to tell you, I have been doing this for 25 years. I'm a licensed naturopathic physician in primary practice. I have been doing naturopathic medicine for 25 years. And you have to be kind of a knucklehead to be a bad naturopath. Because all that we do is give the body what it needs, get out of the way and let it fix itself. We support the body's ability to fix itself. It's not that hard. I got great results before I met Dr. Wallach. He But in the fields of science-based, clinically verified, licensed naturopathic medicine, Wallach is an unrivaled superstar. Since I've been following Dr. Wallach's therapeutics, he's using his research and his protocols for the last four and a half, five years, I don't even know what planet I'm on anymore <laughs> because the things that I've seen people recover from blow my mind. You don't know Dr. Wallach like I know Dr. Wallach. You know Dr. Wallach from the longevity community. I know Dr. Wallach from the medical community. I've known Wallach for 25 years and as God is my witness. He is the most experienced naturopathic physician. Quite frankly, he's the most experienced physician on the planet and we are lucky to have him driving this bus. <laughs> Thank you.
Now look, somebody's got to be number one. And there's a reason why Wallach's therapeutics are so unbelievably effective. There's a reason. It's not magic and pixie dust. It's this. This book Wallach wrote took 12 years, 25 million bucks. It's in the Smithsonian. It's a national treasure. Doc did 26,000 autopsies. 10 million blood chemistries. That's a lot of work. When you do this much old-fashioned boots on the ground, reality-based research, and then you follow it up with decades of clinical application, you're going to get a clue. And that's why Wallach's therapeutics is so unbelievably effective, and that's why the longevity family of nutritional supplements is so unbelievably effective. It's not even in the same classification of nutritional supplements as any other company. This is not USANA, folks. This is not Herbalife. This is, uh, this is science-based, clinically verified, new-fashioned medical nutrition bought to you by the superstar of holistic medicine in the world, Dr. Joel Wallach. No other company has his recipes, and because we have the recipes, we get unbelievable results. And here's what Wallach's research showed. The majority of chronic diseases are not genetic, they're not autoimmune, they're caused by nutrient deficiencies, and they're fixed with the proper nutrition. And listen, if you're struggling with a chronic health condition, asthma, arthritis, type 2 diabetes, fibromyalgia, heartburn, you don't have a bad gene, you have a bad doctor. Dr. Wallach set Longevity up as a network business on purpose with intention. You know, most network companies in the world have a bad rap. Why? Because their products stink. Most MLMs don't sell the products, they sell the comp plan. Get rich selling toilet paper, right? That's Amway's model. Somebody's got to sell it. Might as well be you. It's the compensation plan that most network marketing companies lean on the compensation plan, but not longevity. Longevity was reverse engineered. Wallach set longevity up as a network business for one reason and one reason only, to end human suffering. <laughs> he knows what you don't know. He knows what you don't know and he's been applying it. And he set Longevity up to build a grassroots coalition so that you can learn the simple system of health recovery and teach your family and friends and church members. And that's how we're going to shorten prayer lists all around this country. Amen. Now, you know the drill. These are the nails that your body needs. 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, 2 EFAs. That's why we call it 90 for life, baby. Only problem with the minerals is you can't get them all from food because they're not in the soil. That's where they come from. A plant can't make a mineral. Carrots can't make gold. Too bad. <laughs> so we have to supplement with these things. In order to survive on planet Earth, there are things that we must do. We have to build houses and protect ourselves from the elements. We have to find and purify water. We have to develop a waste elimination system. There's one more thing we need to do. We need to scour the globe. We need to secure the 90 essential nutrients essential for health, and we need to swallow them every day. If you do not do that, it is only a matter of time until something leaks out and something breaks. And this is how it breaks down. If this represents your body's nutrient needs, this tank needs to be filled to the brim every day with the 90 essential nutrients. Fill it to the brim, Jim, every day with the 90 essential nutrients. But most of us, because we didn't know what we didn't know, and because your medical doctor told you, oh, don't take those vitamins, they just give you expensive urine. Here, take this drug instead. Because most of us don't know this, 
This is what most of our nutritional tanks look like. We have less than half because that's about how much you can get from food if you're lucky. And then, heaven forbid, here comes the stress of life. Emotional stress, financial stress, political stress, weather, aging, viruses, germs, bacteria, lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. The stress of life drains our reserves. Bada bing, bada boom. Now we're running on fumes and things start to break. It's that simple, folks. This is why chronic disease generates. You don't have an autoimmune disease. You don't have a bad gene. Your body has simply run out of the stuff it needs to maintain and repair itself. It's that simple. This is why you don't need to call Dr. Wallach up on the radio. You don't need to call me up on the radio. You don't need to read a book for the hundredth time. You just need to use common sense and understand that healing is easy. Give people the essential nutrients that their body needs, appropriate for their body weight. Get the heck out of the way and let the magic begin. Here's a handful of deficiency diseases. Talk about not knowing what you didn't know. Ringing in the ears, a calcium deficiency, vertigo, a calcium deficiency. By the way, by the way, did you know that in the pathophysiological textbooks, there's a type of vertigo called Wallach's vertigo. <laughs> Doc's got a disease named after him. <laughs> Does Herbalife have that? I don't think so. Congestive heart failure, vitamin B1, asthma, EFA, you got swelling in the legs, you don't have enough protein in your blood, and if you're overweight, you have multiple nutrient deficiencies, period. It's, per it's period. They are nutrient deficiency diseases, plain and simple. Well, let's break it down and look at how an MD and Dr. Wallach looks at arthritis. Let's just, by way of education, break it down. By the way, arthritis is fancy schmancy doctor talk for pain in the joints. So you know what that means. You got pain in the joint, you go to your medical doctor, he does $3,000 worth of testing and he tells you, hey Jim, you know what? You got pain in the joints. <laughs> but when he calls it arthritis, you genuflect, oh really doctor, thank you very much. It's arthritis? Thank you very much. It's fancy schmancy doctor talk for arthritis. That's bad rheumatoid arthritis. I've seen that completely go away, 100%, completely reverse. Now there's a woman, I forget her name, she was with Doc for a number of years, she's retired now, she had it twice as bad as this. She pointed her hands towards you, the fingers were curled back pointing toward, towards her. That's how bad her rheumatoid was. She completely eliminated it with Dr. Wallach, completely eliminated it. And she used to give lectures kind of like this to groups of longevity people trying to drag people into the light. And she'd start by playing a little keyboard with a little tune, you know, she'd play a little tune with both of her hands, and then she'd show people the before picture, and then she'd close. You need to become a product of the product. If you're not eliminating the 10 bad foods, bad on you. If you're not taking the 90 essential nutrients, bad on you. You might as well go join USANA, for goodness sake. <laughs> This is the real deal. This is not your grandfather's or your father's old-fashioned medical nutrition, let's have some Geritol and have a party. <laughs> this is science-based, clinically verified, new-fashioned medical nutrition brought to you by the unrivaled superstar of holistic medicine, Dr. Joel Wallach. I had Jonathan E. Mord on my radio program the other day. You know, the dragon slayers, the guy that docs use to sue the Food and Drug Administration. If this water company, whoever made this bottle of water, if they put on the label, treats dehydration, <laughs> it's a drug. The Food and Drug Administration would confiscate it, take all their money, and send them to jail. Because they're disseminating and selling a, pres a prescription medicine without a license. This is how bad it is. According to the Food and Drug Administration, the doc has sued eight times. The only thing that can cure anything is a drug. 
So we never say that we can cure anything. For goodness sake, we never even say we treat anything. Because in point of fact, there's no such thing as arthritis. You don't believe me? You bring me a box of arthritis. Can you do that? Okay, please, bring me two. I'd like two bushels of arthritis, please, right here. Can you do that? No, how about two bushels of apples? Can you do that? Yeah, you can do that. Arthritis is a name that we have given to an intangible thing that exists inside a living, breathing human body. We don't treat arthritis, we treat people. There's a gigantic difference. So we don't treat diseases and we don't cure diseases. What we do is support and promote the body's ability to fix itself and we make your symptoms go away 100%. While the MDs have been driving the bus of medicine, arthritis is getting worse and worse. 46 million adults, two-thirds by the age of 65. They're estimating by 2030, 67 million cases. It's the second most reported chronic health condition. And your MD thinks it's genetic, which just doesn't make sense at all. Because I thought if it was genetic, the weak people in the herd get culled from the herd. So if it's genetic, shouldn't there be less and less and less of it? Not more and more and more of it? It's not genetic. By the way, if it were genetic, we couldn't fix it. We fix it all of the time. I can't fix the color of your eyes. That's genetic. Look at this. In 2003, arthritis and rheumatoid conditions, the second to $128 billion. Now remember, we're in the monkey house here. The pharmaceutical industry and the media are in bed together. So this is how they pitch it to you. The cost of arthritis in 2003, $128 billion. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Well, the last time I looked, money was a big circle. If it's coming out of somebody's pocket, it's going into somebody else's. What they never tell you, how they never advertise it is, orthopedic surgeons made $128 billion this year. They're fatter than they've ever been. It's good to be an orthopedic doctor. It's good to have health insurance, own a health insurance company. Record profits. They never pitch it to you that way. They always say, oh, it's a burden to the economy. Because they have you by the short and curlies. And you are suffering needlessly. Here's how MDs handle arthritis. Anti-inflammatory meds, pain meds, surgery. More pain meds, more anti-inflammatory meds, and more surgery. That's how they do it. And this is what it looks like. Boom, boom, a boom. See this little rod that they put down into your, into your leg bone? Ever dig in a dug a post? So you, you dig the hole out and you stick the post in it. Now if you're smart, you put concrete in the post. But most people don't do that. They just put dirt and stones in it and tamp it down and walk away. Well, after a while, the post starts to wiggle. Well, guess what? After a while, this starts to wiggle. And when that starts to wiggle, it hurts like a son of a gun. And they've got to replace the knee, drill a bigger hole in your leg. I've had patients that have had five fake knees. No refunds. Five fake knees. Oh, let's just dig a bigger hole. Now, you wouldn't accept that if your automobile, if you took your automobile... And, and they put a new transmission in, it cost you $12,000, and you drove down the road and it fell out, what would you do? You'd sue them. But when the MD does this to you, and oh, it failed, you give them a pass. Oh, it fails, you give them a pass. And you continue to give your hard-earned money for medical insurance premiums every month that gives you access to the biggest failed medical system in the world. And oh, by the way, medical doctors, I love this about them, it's just an ocean of hypocrisy. Their hypocrisy is breathtaking. They'll tell you that you need the knee surgery even though in the Journal of the American Medical Association they published a study that said, hey, guess what, you know what, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. That's published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. And yet, your orthopedic surgeon continues to cut and cut and cut and cut because, well, I guess, you know, when all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Because <laughs> the MD doesn't know what they don't know. 
They don't know anything about medical nutrition. They have no training, no experience, no respect, and no appreciation with medical nutrition. We've got to do something. What are we going to do, boys? Let's cut. All right, let's cut. I can do that. And because we don't know, there's a different way. Because these guys have told you that I'm a quack. Because these guys have tried to throw Wallach in jail 50 times. Did you know that? Every state medical association about 20 years ago sued Dr. Wallach for practicing medicine without a license. And he beat him in all 50 states. Yeah. Wallach has sued the Food and Drug Administration eight times. You've got to be kidding me. So, you know, and when you monopolize an industry, it paves the road for corruption. Absolute power corrupts, absolutely, right? Look at Rome. Look at any South American dictatorship. And now look at the United States. Because MDs, when faced with arthritis, will cut and cut and cut and cut and cut and cut and cut. And with them, it's all about facts and research and it's got to be clinically verified and double-blinded and let's research it, boys unless and until the research goes against what they do. It is a field rife with hypocrisy. And you are suffering because of it. In the Journal of the American Medical Association, in July 2002, they published a study that proved knee replacement surgery for arthritis doesn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. At best, you get four, five, six years, and then the joint fails, you need a new fake knee. It's like painting over the mold in the basement. It's a temporary fix. Doesn't really fix it. You don't smell the mold anymore. It's still there. But absolute power corrupts absolutely. And because you're in pain and you're suffering and you go to a highfalutin multi-million dollar hospital, you're going to do what those guys tell you to do because you're intimidated. And you just assume that they know what's best for you. But they do not. They do not. And this is our biggest problem in the United States. So what do we do? Well, you could probably figure it out sitting in your seat having listened to the first half of this lecture. You give the body the stuff the joints need to maintain their health. We give the body joint juice, so to speak. Why? Because arthritis is a nutritional deficiency disease. This is joint repair the Wallach way. Here's what we do. We give your body the raw materials the joints are made out of. That's not rocket science. You break a bone, we give you bone stuff. You have a joint problem, we give you joint stuff. You have a blood sugar problem, we give you blood sugar stuff. It's not hard. Healing is easy. Surgery is complicated. Healing is easy. This is what we do it with. Glucogel, baby. One capsule for 10 pounds of body weight per day. So if you're 210 pounds, you need 21 a day. Seven, seven, and seven. If you're 180 pounds, you need 18 a day. Six, six, and six. It's that simple. Because healing is easy. So, you know, if you have someone who has an arthritic problem, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, traumatic arthritis, do you need to do expensive laboratory work and diagnostic analyses? No. Do you need a consultation with Wallach? No. Do you need to call me up on the radio show? No. Do you need to get one more CD and listen to it? No. You need to go to your product catalog. Well, let me see. It's a joint problem. What do you think I'm going to do? I don't know. What am I going to do? <laughs> Maybe I'll listen to dead doctors. Don't lie once more. What am I going to do? <laughs> we'll give one healthy bone and joint pack, you knucklehead. That's how we do it. One healthy bone and joint pack for 100 pounds of body weight. It's that easy. This was one of my revelations when I started working with Dr. Wallach. I've had a number of aha moments. It might interest you to understand that in the wonderful world of science-based, clinically verified medical nutrition, Wallach is the only physician who recommends dosing based on your body weight. And that just makes all the sense in the world. Because if you're 300 pounds and you've got arthritis, you're going to need significantly more stuff than if you're 80 pounds and have arthritis. But no other profession takes that into consideration except Dr. Wallach. And that's one of the reasons why his therapeutics are so effective. I love to play golf, right? I love to play golf and I am not that good at it. 
I watch these guys playing pro golf on Saturday and Sunday afternoon, and I'm thinking to myself, that's easy, I can do that. And then you go out on the golf course, and guess what? You can't even come close to doing that. <laughs> they make it look easy. Well, Dr. Wallach, because of his expertise and his unbelievably vast knowledge base and pragmatic, practical skills, made it easy. It's this easy. It is no more complicated than this. One healthy bone and joint pack for 100 pounds of body weight will make all of the difference in the world. You can always throw an extra plant-derived minerals. That's never a bad idea. By the way, all of the Longevity liquid products and the Tangy have plant minerals in them. Plant minerals are in them, but it's never a bad idea to give extra because you're extremely deficient in minerals. There's a guy in upstate New York, Bernie Owens. He's been with Dr. Wallach for years. Bernie Owens built his entire longevity business. He's a multi-million dollar earner with longevity. Multi-million dollar. I don't think he's here this, this weekend. But Bernie built his entire business with this product. He would walk around town with cases of this stuff in his car. He'd find somebody who was sick and suffering, and here's what he'd say. Look, I see you're struggling with your health. My name's Bernie. I'm going to give you this bottle of minerals. Because I know a doctor that says you don't have to suffer with that. I want you to take this for two weeks. If you like how it makes you feel, you can pay me for it and I'll get you more. In 25 years of doing that, not one person didn't pay him for it and order more. Because it works. Why does it work? Because Wallach's a genius, number one. And number two, everybody is minerally deficient, extremely minerally deficient. So if you've got prospects who are uh, skeptical, they're not really skeptical, by the way, because if they were, they never would have taken the drug. If they're truly skeptical, they would have asked their doctor, well, doc, what's that stuff made out of? How does it work? Who made it? What about the research that informed it? Was the pharmaceutical company did the research? Was the people that made it? Was they, they the ones that did the research? How does it work? What are the side effects? How much is it going to cost? And what can I expect it to do to me? Nobody does that. They just do what the doctor tells them. Oh, but no, I've got to research those vitamins. I need to research that vitamin C. I need to know more about that. We're not skeptical. We're closed-minded conformists, most of all. Most of us, closed-minded conformists. We just go along for the ride. Amen. Amen. Now, you can build a multi-million dollar longevity business just with the plant-derived minerals getting your toe in the door. Here, try this. If you like how it makes you feel, you can pay me for it, I'll get you more. It works every time. And by the way, this is why longevity succeeds. Because again, let's be honest. I mean, really? Here's how it is in the world of medicine. You got the MDs on top, you got the osteopaths underneath them, you got the nurse practitioners, you got the chiropractors, you got the acupuncturists, you got the dirt, you got 50 feet of mud, and then you got the naturopaths. <laughs> it's illegal for me to practice medicine in many states in the United States. It's just not right. But that's the way that it is. And even though we are underneath the heel of the pharmaceutical industry and the American Medical Association, longevity has grown 400% in 2012. How did that happen? Because it worked. <laughs> Results don't lie. This is not USANA. This is not Metagenics. This is not some vitamin company. This is Dr. Wallach's science-based, clinically verified medical nutrition, and nobody even comes close. So our whole proposition here boils down to a very simple philosophy, and this is all that you need to know to be successful with longevity. And if you understand this, you will know more about how the body works than any medical doctor in the world. You will. And I am not exaggerating. I am not blowing smoke. Your medical doctor does not know this. They're blind to it. It's right in front of their face and they do not see it. And because they do not see it, their therapeutics must fail. They must fail. Because they're colorblind to the truth. 
The truth of the matter is the human body knows how to fix itself. The human body wants to fix itself. Most of the time, all that's necessary is give it the raw materials it needs to fix itself, stop eating food that's gumming up the works, get out of the way, and the body will fix it. Do not overlook the simplicity of the system. Do not, you know, think that you have to memorize all of Dr. Wallach's books and all of my CDs and my book. You don't have to do that. You just need to know how to read and look at the product catalog and use a little bit of common sense. Because healing is easy. Surgery is complicated. Healing is easy. Your body is chomping at the bit to fix itself. Throw it a bone. <laughs> so look, you're smart. You can pass the driver's license test. You can have a successful longevity business. You have somebody with a blood sugar issue, type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, metabolic syndrome, syndrome X, whatever the heck it is. They've got a problem with blood sugar. Guess what? Do they need a complicated blood work and, and biochemical analysis and stool test and urinalysis and a consultation with the doctor? No. They need one healthy blood sugar pack for 100 pounds of body weight per month, period. And they've got to stop eating the 10 bad foods, right? right? Clean the diet up, take the appropriate healthy start pack, get the hell out of the way and let the body fix it. You've got a bone and a joint problem, you need a healthy bone and joint pack. One per 100 pounds of body weight per month. You've got a concentration problem, got a heart problem, got an attention deficit problem. Can't remember where you put the keys for the 150th time. Well, guess what? You might be a candidate for the healthy brain and heart pack. It's a good place to start. You've got a problem with heartburn, irritable bowel, ulcerative colitis, inflammatory bowel disease, celiac disease, so you need a complicated uh, office visit with a barium enema. No. <laughs> you need a healthy digestion pack and stop eating the 10 bad foods. It's that simple. If you've got people with any of these conditions, it's 90 days. Say, look, do it for 90 days before you judge it up or down. Do it for 90 days and you tell me how you feel. Because the proof of the pudding is in the eating. And if there's nothing wrong with you, number one, I'll eat my hat. <laughs> but once you bring somebody back from the brink of a chronic health condition by supporting and promoting their body's ability to fix itself. What we do for maintenance every day is the healthy start pack. You take a shower every day, you drink water every day, you live in houses every day and heat them and cool them, you eliminate your waste every day, well guess what, there's one more thing you need to do every day in order to maintain that house that God gave you, it's the healthy start pack. Plus stop eating the ten bad foods, it's that simple. It's really that simple. Now, multi-level marketing got a bad rap in this country, and you know why? Because the majority of multi-level marketing companies sell crap. They don't have good products. They sell the compensation plan, right? I mean, Amway, they sell toilet paper. Let's get rich selling toilet paper. Somebody's got to sell it, somebody's got to buy it, might as well be you. So, you know, they have these ineffective products or products that you could get anywhere else at a third of the price, but they're selling the compensation plan, not the product. Dr. Wallach set it up the opposite. Wallach is sitting on top of all of this research and he has all of this clinical experience. He knows what to do to help people recover their health in real time with science-based, clinically verified medical nutrition. He has dialed it in. But the pharmaceutical industry will not let him publish the information. He discovered the cause and the cure for cystic fibrosis and they fired him. You gotta be kidding me. The front door of medicine in the United States is guarded by the pharmaceutical industry and they will not let us in. So Wallach was beside himself, what am I going to do? He could have set his vitamin company up uh, and sold it on the internet. 
He could have done a, a, you know, like Andrew Lessing on the Home Shopping Network. He could have had a whole line of vitamins and health food stores and GNCs all around the world. But he did not do that. He made a conscious decision to set Longevity up as, a, as an MLM because we are building a grassroots coalition of people around the world who see the simple system, who understand that healing is easy, and who drag their friends and family members and church members into the light of medical nutrition because healing is easy. Make no doubt about it. Longevity was set up to eliminate human suffering, and we need your help. My website, drglidden.com, I have lots and lots and lots of information available on my website that can help you grow your longevity business to biblical proportions. We have live webinars a couple times a week. They're awesome. We have people all over the world. So here's how it goes. You have a prospect. You tell them about the webinar. You're sitting in your living room. They're sitting in their living room. You're both watching the webinar. You're 50 states away from each other. At the end of the webinar, you call them up, say, hey, what do you think about that? Are you in or are you out? And when we do it like this, and then use the lectures, the live events, every three or four months as the icing on the cake, not the cake, your business will get transported. Because remember, the way that we leverage people to the health opportunity is by bringing them to the expert. Not by becoming the expert, by talking as little as possible and bringing them to events. Well, listen, you've only got a couple of live events every year, but you've got live webinars four times a week, so check it out. Now, in closing, here's what I want to say. There are about 378 million people in the United States, about, what, 100 million people in Canada? And this is just North America. There's Dr. Wallach, myself, Ben Fuchs, Corey Gold, Richard Renton, that's five. There's Steve, Mike Randolph, Bill Andrioli, that's eight. There's Wallach, uh, that's nine. We got the rest of the Wallach clan. There's about 12 people here and 378, 478 million suffering individuals. It is not on us, it is on you. You are the leverage point. Your living room is the leverage point between the battle of good and evil. And I am telling you, it's like this. I am not exaggerating. There were people at Timmy Hortons, standing in back of you at line last week. There were people at Starbucks today here at Vegas, in back of you in line, who went to bed last night praying to God for help with their health, praying to God for help with their arthritis, praying to God for help with their pain and suffering, because the medical industry has let us down hard. You are the tipping point between health and suffering. You are the tipping point between poverty and wealth. You are the tipping point between good and evil. It is up to you. Join us. B wave the flag hard. Get out there and roll as many people as you can. Drag them into the light of medical nutrition because you are the last best hope they have for living a long, healthy, and wealthy life. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Peter Glidden. Thank you for your time. Give it up for Devin, the guitar player.